All right, we're going to try another little look at the dark sky here with plenty of stars from Mount Pinos, California. I have a Panasonic GH5S and a uh, Voigtlander Nocton 42.5mm f.95 lens. Camera set to 30, 1 30th of a second shutter. ISO is 102,400, and we're staring at the star Altair in the constellation Aquila, dead center, bluish white. I'm not sure if that's its real color, but that's what the, it's looking like on my monitor. Treetops there, those would be pine trees uh, around the parking lot here at Pine House. Now I'm going to go up a little bit, just pan around here. We're kind of in the Milky Way, but it's still sort of low. Facing southeast, this uh, little arrow-shaped thing, that would be, you see, center there. That's the tip of the arrow, and then as I sweep back, you get to the feathers. That's the Sagitta, the constellation Sagitta. You can see a little bit of star clouds around there. I'm going to pan, kind of following the horizon here. So there's that Altair star, which is going to get a little messed up as we go to the edge. Yeah, that's my chromatic aberration stigmatism of the lens. You can see some fingers of the Milky Way sticking up in the middle of the display. There's some more there. I think that's part of Sagittarius, just starting to clear the trees. And I'll keep sweeping until we go sort of due southish and maybe a little past. More Milky Way <coughs> with trees in front, pine trees. Could even be a nebula here, like the one coming up right there. I don't know, but that might be the lagoon. Not sure. Anyway, we'll keep going. And uh, eventually we'll come up on Scorpius, which is showing up now. That Red, <coughs> reddish star coming into the view is Antares, which looks pretty nice. There's Antares, dead center. <coughs> Excuse me. In Scorpius, and if we go a little to the right of it, dead center, that's the uh, star cluster M4, opener globular, don't quite remember. As you can see, that little tiny fuzzy thing, so we picked up a star cluster along the way. And then I'm going to try to see if I can get my hands on Jupiter. I'm going to go sweeping up right now. There we go. It's right there. Man, I think I still have some thin eye clouds because there's a bit of a halo around Jupiter. And it's blazing away because the camera settings are probably uh, too long for that bright of a stellar shaped object. There's no way it's that big in reality <clears throat> at the magnification I'm running, which is about one and a half. But uh, that gives you a feel, at least, for uh, how well this camera works under very dark skies and a really fast lens, f0.95, f just say f1, it'd be easier. So we'll leave it there with that take. Okay, that's it.